what I'm going to say. And I'm saying this, this is a no, no. This is a public <laughs> announcement that we. I'm not pregnant. <laughs> Jeff, your friends are all saying he things like <laughs> Help her ballot, help her ballot. <laughs> high road, high road. Well, this is like, I'm taking a very high road. Um, in the listen. spirit of what you all have been sharing with me and telling me how marvelous and wonderful my wife is, oh, hey, you're telling Karen. me something that I know and never ever want to take advantage of at all, ever. We're all going on a two-week cruise. <laughs> 20, 29 years ago, no, 30, 31 and a half years ago, I asked Karen to marry me. And I asked her in the most unromantic and spontaneous and impulsive way. That's a shock. And I cheated her out of a true and meaningful and, as I think, romantic proposal. So what Karen and I would like to do, and because everyone here means as much to us as you do to me, Sunday, December 27th, 2015, Karen and I are going to be renewing our vows. And we are going to have a new ketubah because our original ketubah was destroyed. It's ketubah is the Jewish wedding license. I'm just <laughs> clarifying Sorry. for those who may not. Once again, she tells Not everybody here is Jewish. <laughs> and not everybody know, does know what a ketubah uh, is. Okay. So, Karen and I... He is. <laughs> Karen and I have talked about it, and we want... Wait, save the day. What day is that? Sunday, December 27th. It's going to be an afternoon affair. Karen is going to ask Rabbi Hoffman. Either Hoffman or Steinberg. Or Hoffman or Steinberg. We're going to read our vows. We're going to have, hopefully, Rachel and Josh as my best man and Karen's maid of honor. So if you're not doing anything that day, we'd be honored to have you stand up for us. In Vegas? I'll let you know. <laughs> and we're going to renew our vows, and we're going to send out real... Real invitations to real people. Six months. The real people. Not in other words, everybody not nothing here. This right. Right. Yeah. 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 We'd like you to join us in celebrating our 30th wedding what anniversary mean, together. Yeah. And uh, yeah. we're going to have a small, intimate party for four to six hundred people. <laughs> and we're just letting you know because you're all in our wedding party. Yeah. Guys are going to be my groomsmen, and the ladies are going to be her maids and matrons of honor. I am so. not ready to talk. Jeff, what's going to send out? Short, short. Save the date cards. Last night. <laughs> did, did you write them already? Surely, Eva, that, you went to surely Eva. that will inspire Eva. some more of you, you people need to talk to about have Jeff. A printer. <laughs> anyway, thank you for telling me how you really feel. It's been ten years since you told me that how you really feel. Nobody wants to hear a story, but what you guys are all about. It. And I'm going to tell you a story about how childish I am and how smart my friend David Rose is. So Karen has an opportunity to say no. She does. She does. <laughs> so all Not too late. You know, there's, a lot of there's a lot of food. There's a lot of food. Football started about 20 minutes ago, so I'll make this quick. Um, David Rose. David Rose has been my boss at multiple companies and multiple industries multiple times. <laughs> David and Linda have uh, grown up with Karen and I. Uh, Karen and I have two children. David and Linda have three marvelous, wonderful children. And I'm going to take a moment to pimp them out. Sam has just been accepted to about 15 different law schools all over the country. He's brilliant. He's wonderful. He's amazing. He did a radio sports talk show on, at UCLA, and I was his first call in. And I will never forget that he took my call, completely did not know who I was, and I started to lambast the Dodgers. He never lost his cool. He knew it was me. And we had about a seven-minute conversation on UCLA talk radio. And I do want to get that some way, somehow, so I can put it in my memoirs of something that I did. Okay. Josh, their younger son, their middle child, has been accepted to USC pre-med medical dental school. He's going to be the medical dental doctor of the Kings one day. He's going to be an MD, DDS, and he's a marvelous, amazing, and phenomenal kid. He's talented. He's done Broadway shows. The kid can sing. He's a five. He's a threat. 
He's a he's a major threat. Sam, you know, Sam is the oldest, so I've gotten to know him the best. But Sam and I are like two friends, and Josh and I are two guys. And then there's Mariah. Mariah is the youngest, the little, the most challenging of the three. But she was just accepted to the University of Arizona, or is it state? State, state. Mm -hmm. and she's getting accepted, and she's moving on in her life, and she's going to be growing and doing what it is that Mariah wants to do, and she's going to do it very well. So you have three wonderful, beautiful, amazing children. I'm pimping. I'm pimping. It's my party. I'll cry if I want to. Anyway, David.